muddy water draining away sort of whirlpool like and so all the water's gone and the next thing you know big muddy column of hot water about 10 feet wide erupts up to 50 feet tall right in front of you and that was really a very exciting show back in 1922 visitors watched the last eruption of the mud geyser we were thinking that the plumbing a little bit too sandy and muddy so the plumbing eventually uh, broke down a bit but see this area off to the right with all the steam that is a new area that wasn't here three years ago and you can hear that frying pan effect the, the <laughs> tremendous hot steam rushing out of the ground temperatures in that in those steam vents are about 200 degrees Fahrenheit up to 220 so really hot temperature right over here and it looks like the activity is increasing and heading off towards the trees. So who knows? You know, you saw the new parking lot hot spring in the parking lot and this new thermal area off to the right here. Maybe the mud geyser may be a geyser in the future. Who knows? Exciting. That's where Yellowstone Park is. And the fancy name for this phenomenon is called the Yellowstone Hot Spot. So bottom line, oh my goodness. Lots of intense heat very close to our toes here in the park. That fuels the Yellowstone volcanoes, and it's still an active volcano, by the way. So, um, technically, you know, there's been a, a story in the rock that about, well, let's see, every 600,000 years there's been a volcanic explosion. And you know what? The last one was about 600,000 years ago. It, it could be very exciting again. I don't know. About 12,000 years ago, if you were right here, you would have looked up and been covered by 4,000 feet of ice. 4,000 feet. It's almost one mile worth thick of ice right above you. Now, this is the grand finale. This is my time to take you off the boardwalks. And this is a trail out to where you see the steam rising way beyond the hillside. We're going to be heading out there to a backcountry mud pot. It's big, it's amazing, and you can only get out there with the ranger on the one o'clock hike. One of the naturalists that's still on the staff today, a fellow by the name of Harlan Credit, Harlan was off on his weekend back in 1973. And Harlan is an, an adventuresome guy. He was tromping off through the backcountry looking around for new thermal features. And he found two little mud pots, oh, about a foot in diameter, both of them. And a little bit of steam and a little bit of mud was popping out of the mud pots back in 73. So I wanted to show you how Harlan's mud pots have changed these days. Changes and the early fanciful writings from the early uh, 
travel writers and mountain men coming through the area, and then you found out about Yellowstone's geologic story, the world's largest volcanic explosions, right here where you're standing.